It's a beautiful day for remote learning, a beautiful day for a lesson. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a studently day in this beauty wood, a studently day for a lesson. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a student just like you. I've always wanted to teach in a classroom with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my student? Hi everyone, welcome back to Miss Nichols' Neighborhood. It's me, your teacher, Miss Nichol, and I'm here with my best remote teacher helper, my sister, Kaylee Nichol. Hi. Hi. Today, we are continuing learning about being able to tell time, okay? We're going to work towards being able to tell time to the half hour, just like we learned about with analog clocks or clocks that have hands that move on it, but also being able to read and tell time to the half hour on digital clocks. Ooh. Awesome. So being able to read clocks to the half hour, analog and digital. Let's go ahead, kind of review, fresh, refresh our memory about what we learned in our last lesson video, okay? In our last lesson video, we talked about how one of the ways we can read a clock when we see the long minute hand pointing straight down is by reading that time as half past and then finding the hour. Half past and then finding the hour, which here, remember, it's all, we always loop back the number, it, the hour or number it came from, six. So if we put that together, it would be half past Six. Okay, so we learned all about how to read analog clocks that way. Well, today we're going to learn another way we read a time like this. Okay, another way to read this time instead of going half past six, you would instead, like we learned when we first started learning about clocks, you instead start with the hour. So you'd say it's six, and then you would go back to the minute hand. So switching back to how we originally learned to tell time, okay? So you go six, and then you'd have to tell how many minutes have passed. Now maybe you remember this from the last lesson video, how we kept saying how when the long minute hand's pointing straight down, that means it's half an hour, okay? Or half of 60 minutes is 30. Okay, that means that this long minute hand pointing straight down means 30 minutes have passed. I'm going to kind of pretend to rewind time here and hopefully explain it, okay? So right here, we remembered how we learned to read time like this. It's 6 o'clock, then let's pretend that the minute started ticking by. One minute, two minute, each little Take mark represents a minute. Three, four, five minutes, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those little numbers kind of help tell us that. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Almost there. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five minutes. Almost there. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty minutes. Okay, so we have to, once again, learn and remember another way that that long minute hand is like a double agent, okay? So to read time like this, you could read it as half past six, or switch it, read the hour hand first, read it as six, then read the minute, six, thirty, meaning thirty minutes have passed in the hour. Halfway through the hour, 6.30, okay? So today's lesson, we're really going to be saying 30 a lot, okay? Being able to read time to that half hour, to 30 minutes. So I want us to get used to saying 
30 right away, okay? I'm going to say 30, then you're going to say 30. That long minute hand pointing straight down represents 30 minutes. 30. Ready? Yeah. 30. 50. 30. Good. One more time. 30. 50. 30. Good. So today's lesson, we're switching back to reading our first and then reading the long minute hand as 30. Okay? Awesome. So, hopefully we kind of refresh our memories about that, so a little better about it. Let's look up here. It's basically summarizing what we just talked about. Because we're taking what we know about analog clocks and putting it to digital clocks now. A digital clock can also show time to the half hour. Both of the clocks show half past six. Remember, we learned about that in the last lesson menu, about it being half past six, okay? Or, meaning the other way we read it is 6.30, okay? 6.30, there's that word, that number 30, we're going to have to be really comfortable with saying, okay? Awesome. Remember when we used to read it as 00, zero as o'clock, we had that special name for it? Well, today might be a little easier, because we read the hour, 6, then 30. No other special phrase to remember, okay? 6.30. Nice. Let's go ahead. We're going to jump right in to me modeling some problems and practicing. Okay. Okay, here we are with our first four practice problems. We're first going to read the time on the analog clock. That's great. Getting some more practice reading it. And then we're going to learn or re review how to write it on a digital clock, okay? Yeah. So let's go ahead. Maybe you see number one on the screen. I'll also show it up here, okay? Let's go ahead. Remember, I know we learned in the last lesson video how when we see the long minute hand pointing straight down, we could read it as half past the hour. Well, you can't. it's kind of hard to spell all that out in the digital clock, so we're going to Learn another way to read it, okay? Today, we start by reading the short hour hand, okay? So let's look where the hour hand is. Uh-oh, I see it's between the one and the two. Oh, we got to use what we learned in our last lesson video to remember what hour it actually is. Think about that hand looping back, okay? The hour is the, the lower or lesser number of the two it's between, okay? Or the hour that if you start at the top, you know, the hand was there, what hour would it hit first, the one or the two? It moves, it hits, or goes to the one. So what hour is it actually? One. This is one, okay? Look. It was 1 o'clock, then time moved forward. Even though it's not exactly on the 1, it's still 1. Okay? Now, we got to remember how we're going to read the long minute hand today. When it's pointing straight down, that means how many minutes have passed? 30. That special word phrase we got to really remember today, that number. 30. Okay? And maybe your clock also has little extra minutes written to help you see it, okay? So then we put it all together. The hour hand, then the long minute hand. The hour we said was what? One. And then the minute? Thirty. Thirty. Very good, Kaylee. So put it together in one. Thirty. Nice job. So we know it's one thirty. Now I'm going to show you how we write 1.30 right here on the digital clock. And it's even easier than our last digital clock lesson because we're going to write it just like we say it. One, I'm going to write a one, start the left side, okay? One, and then when I need to write the minute, I see the two dots, the colon, I go to the right of that to write the minute. 1.30, 
All right, three zero, three zero. Can't stop. Three zero, thirty. Three zero. Awesome. So just like we read the analog clock as one thirty, now the digital clock says that as well. One thirty. Okay. I know in the first problem, you might be like, I'm not sure about it, Miss Nickel. That's okay. I wouldn't expect you to understand it right away. We have quite a few more problems. We're going to keep practicing. Go ahead and start looking up here at problem number two if you can while I get our clock ready over here on this side. Okay, maybe you're able to see it up there. If not, I also have it right here, okay? Let's go ahead get a good look at it. I right away, okay, I remember that one of the ways we could read this is half past and then naming the hour, but today's lesson, switching back to how you'd normally read it, um, hour first, then minute, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the short hour hand, that red hour hand. What hour is it pointing to? Uh-oh, is it pointing exactly at either the 8 or the 9? It's right in the middle. So we got to think about when that hour hand started right there at the top and moved along and around the clock, which hour did it hit first? Which hour is it still? Start at 12, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, it was 8, barely past it. But it has not touched nine yet. Okay? It's eight. Now we go and read the long minute hand. It's eight. And we gotta remember that long minute hand means how many minutes have passed? Thirty. Nice job, Kaylee. So thirty. Now we put it together. What's the hour? Eight. Good. And the minute? 30. Make sure you're doing your best to try to say these along at home too. Getting some practice in there. What time is it? 8.30. Nice. 8.30. Good. We've read it on the analog clock. Now we need to write it on a digital clock. We're going to write it just like we would say it. 8. So I'm going to start with the 8. The hour. Good. 8, then 30. I remember that 30 is made with a 3 and a 0. I go on the other side of those two dots, the colon, right? 30, 3, 0. Nice. Now the digital clock, if I were to read it, I would just read it. It's 8, 30. Awesome, meaning half past 8. Nice okay. job, just like the analog clock says, 8, 30. Okay, and you are starting to get into the rhythm or pattern of it. Let's keep going. Let's look at problem number three. Maybe you can start looking there. I'm going to get the clock ready, okay? Here we go. As we can see here, we see that that long minute hand is pointing straight down. We know we could read this clock as half past something, but we know we have to right into the digital clock. So we're going to switch back to reading hour hand, then minute hand. So let's start with the short hour hand. What hour is that short hour hand pointing to? Hmm. Is it pointing directly at anything? No, it's right between the 11 and 12. So we got to use some of our tricks or what we remember to find out, remember what the hour is, okay? You can envision or imagine in your brain. You take that hour hand, draw an arrow back. What hour is it still? 11, good. Another way to help figure it out, you look at the two numbers. Think about when that hour hand started at 12, the top of the hour went to 1, 2, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, okay? It was working its way around, okay? So it hits 11. It hasn't hit the 12 yet. So it's still what hour? 
11. Good. It's 11. Now we need to read the minute. Remember, when that long minute hand pointing straight down, how many minutes have passed? 50. 30. Good. Our big important phrase and number for the day. 30. Half an hour. 30 minutes. Good. So let's put it together. Read the hour first. What hour is it? 25. 11. Good. And the minute? 50. 30. Nice job. Hopefully you're trying your best to say that along at home or just following along. 11. 30. Since we've been able to read the analog clock, now we get to write it up here in our digital clock. We're going to write it just like we say. 11. That's the hour. So we've got to make sure it fits onto the left side before the colon, before the two dots. 11. And in the minute, on the other side, the right side of the colon, the two dots. 30. 30. Three, zero. Three, zero. Okay? We have a big number you're writing along. 30. So just like the analog clock reads, the digital clock now also says 1130. Nice job. Okay, keep getting in there. Keep remembering. For today's lesson, one of the other ways we can read time to the half hour. Read the hour hand first, the short hand first, and then the long minute hand second. Remember when that long minute hand pointing straight down means 30 minutes have passed. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's look at problem number four. Maybe you can start seeing it on the board. I'm going to also get it ready on my clock awkwardly off here to the side. Oh, almost there. Here we go. Okay. So maybe you're able to see it there. If not, hopefully on this larger clock. Right away we know we see that long minute hand pointing straight down. But we're going to read this clock like we would the digital clock normally. Okay? Start with the short hour hand first. So what hour, the big number, what hour is that short hour hand pointing to? It's a tricky one. When a hand's going around the clock, which number does it run into first? What number comes first, the three or the four? Just like in counting, what number comes first? You go around the clock and you count. One o'clock, two o'clock. Three. Yeah, three comes before four. One, two, three. So you pretend you draw an arrow, loop it back. What hour is it still? Three. Three. Good. It's three. And then we read the long minute hand. That long minute hand pointing straight down, which means how many minutes have passed? Fifty. Thirty. Good job, Kaylee. Now we put it together. Hopefully that's what you're trying to say or follow along with at home, okay? Let's say it together. What's the hour? Three. Good. Then what's the minute? Thirty. Thirty. Good. Three. Thirty. Nice job. We read it on the analog clock. Now we're going to write it and read it on the digital clock. Write it just like we said it. Three. Okay, that's the hour. So I write it on here, the left side. Three. Then thirty. 30 is how many minutes? So I go on the right side next to the colon. Okay, don't want it all squished together. 30. 3, 0. Good. So we're now able to read that clock just like we were the analog clock. Digital clock, kind of cool. You're just able to read the numbers. It's what time? 3, 30. Nice job. Okay. We've done a good start, I think, on getting used to the pattern of today, reading the short hour hand first, then the long minute hand. Just two things I really want you to remember when finding or reading that short hour hand. Remember, it's the hour that comes first. You start at the top, go around the clock. What number is it running into first? That's the hour. Then remember that long minute hand pointing straight down 
means how many minutes have passed, that special number? How many? 30. 30. Good. The big special number today. 30. Okay? Let's keep it up with a few more practice problems. Okay. Here we are with our next and last four practice problems for today's lesson video. Okay? Let's go ahead once again. We need to read the analog clock, tell what time it is, then write it and read it as a digital time as well. Okay? It's the same time we're trying to show, just kind of different ways to write it. Okay? So maybe you can see up there problem five. If not, hopefully you can see it over here. Let's go ahead. Let's start. Remember this lesson, this way of reading time. We're starting with which hand first? The short hour hand or long minute hand? What are we starting with first? What? Short. Good. The short hour hand. Good. If that's what you're thinking at home, Good job, okay? Just keep trying your best. Let's start with the short hour hand. Which hour is it pointing to? Hmm. It's not pointing exactly on an hour. We have to think, okay? It's between the 12 and the 1. Where did that hour hand come from? Where did it depart from? Do you think it went and started at the 1 and is working back? Or did it start at the 12 and is moving forward because time is moving forward? Which one? Yeah. 12, yes. And we start at the top of the clock. 12, right there. Start right there. It goes 12. So the hour is 12. Then the minute hand moves around. And now we remember that that long minute hand pointing straight down means how many minutes have passed? Let's see. 30. Good. So let's put it together. Read the hour hand. Then the long minute hand. Okay, we said what hour was the short hour hand showing? Right. 12. Good. Then the long minute hand showing what? 30. 30. Put it together. 12. 30. 12. 30. Nice job. So now we're going to go ahead, do the best we can to write that as a digital clock. Okay? You write the hour on the left side of the two dots or colons. Write it just like you say it. 12. So I remember 12 is written as 1 and a 2. 12. Then how many minutes? 30. 30. So I need to go to the other side, the right side of the two dots or colons, and write 30. 3, 0. Nice job. Now, we read the digital clock to make sure. Yep, it says 12, just like the analog clock, 30. Nice okay. job. Okay. We got three more problems, okay? Got to really get it in our heads that we're reading the short hour hand first, then the long minute hand. Okay? <gasps> we got this. Maybe you can see number six up here. If not, I also have it here that hopefully you can see. Hopefully. Okay. Let's look very carefully. First, where is that short hour hand pointing to? Mm -hmm. Is Which one? Do we know? We got to use what we know about how time moves forward around the clock. Okay. That hour hand. Originally was back here. It moves which way around the clock? Which hour, five or six, would it run into first? Or what hour would it be first? Would it be six o'clock, then five o'clock? Or would it be five o'clock, then six o'clock? Which one comes first? Six. Hmm. When we count, we go one, two, three, four, six, five? No, when we count, we go one, two, three, four. Four, five. five, yes, five comes first. Or imagine you have a little arrow, loop back. What hour is it? Five. Five, good, five comes first, so it's five, okay? Five, now we need to read the long minute hand. When that long minute hand is pointing straight down, how many minutes does that mean pass? Fifty. 30. Good. You've got to just get ready to remember that. 5, 30. 
Whenever it's pointing straight down, think 30. Okay? Cool. So put it all together, the hour and the minute, since what time? Five. Five. Thirty. Thirty. Good. Five thirty. Now it's our turn to write it on the digital clock. Five, just like we say it. Five starts the hour over here on the left side. Five. That went a little funky. Try that again. So we write five. Good. And then how many minutes? Thirty. Thirty. Good. So we go to the right, the other side of that whole letter, two dots, and write thirty. Three. Zero. Thirty. Now we can read the digital time just like we read the analog clock. You read it like you see it. Five. Thirty. Good. Five. Thirty. Ooh. Nice job, okay? Hopefully starting to make sense or we're getting used to reading the time. We'll only have two more problems. One more I'm going to help you out with a lot. And then the last one you're going to be really on your own with some think time to do your best to solve it. But I know you got this, okay? Okay, start looking at problem number seven. Getting the clock ready. Ooh, I didn't need to move very far. It's already ready. Okay. Let's go ahead. We start with the short hour hand. Look at that short hour hand. What hour is it pointing to? I know it's right in the middle of seven and eight. Think about when you're counting or when the hour hand and time and hands are moving around the clock. Which number do the hands hit first? They start here and go around the clock. Do they Run into seven or eight first. So you can count around the clock to remind yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where did that hour hand come from? What hour is it still? Seven. Seven. Very good. It's seven. Or think about loop it back. Seven. Now look at the long minute hand. That minute hand's pointing straight down. So that means how many minutes is it? 30. 30. Good. Put it together. Hour, 7, minute, 30. All together, it's 7, 30. Good. 7, 30. Then all that's left to do is to write it in our digital clock. 7, just like we're saying it. Seven, then the minutes on the right side of the colon, 30, three, zero. Good job. Seven, 30. Nice. Okay. It is time for our last problem. Go oh. ahead, start looking at it if you can see it while I get ready on the clock. We're about to give you lots of quiet think time to do your best to solve it. Okay? Right here, I'm going to give you a hint. Start with that short hour hand. What hour is it pointing to? Or where did that hour hand just move from? Think about 10 and 11. If you're going around the clock, what would that hour hand run into first? I'm going to be quiet while you think about it, okay? Read the short hour hand and then long minute hand. Okay, maybe that was enough think time. If not, that's totally okay. Just go ahead and pause us. Okay, keep your answer of what you were thinking in your head. Kayla and I are going to help you double check it, okay? I reminded you, start with reading that short hour hand first. Okay, what hour is it? You go around the clock, which hour is it first? Ten. Good, it's ten. Hopefully that's what you were thinking or finding. If not, it's okay. We just double checked it. Ten. Now we go read the long minute hand. That long minute hand is pointing straight down at the six, which actually means how many minutes have passed? Thirty. 
30. Good. If that's what you were saying, good job, okay? If not, maybe rewatch this lesson video. Keep practicing remembering that long minute hand pointing straight down means 30 minutes have passed. So we put all this together. Read the hour, 10, and then the minute, 30. 10, 30. Okay, and then we, all we have left to do is to write it on our digital clock. We write it, and really just read it like we just said it, okay? 10, start with the hour on the left side of the colon. 10, good. And how many minutes did we say? So it takes 30. Nice job, Kaylee. Then we go to the right side of the colon or the two dots. Right, 30. 3, 0. It's a little falling off. I know your learning pack will be nicer. But yep, analog clock says 10, 30. Now the digital clock also says 10, 30. Okay, we've had quite a bit of practice today. We've reviewed how we were able to read in our last lesson video, how the long minute hand pointing straight down means half past an hour. Okay, we also learned today how we can read that same time as reading the hour first, then the minute. So reading it as 10.30. Really remembering that that long minute hand pointing straight down means 30. Okay, that's going to help you. Then, since we were able to learn how to read analog clocks that way, we are also able to write those times digitally, or how you might see them on a digital clock, and be able to read that digital clock or that same time on a digital clock, okay? Yeah. Well, just keep doing your best. Remember that long minute hand pointing straight down means 30, okay? Practice telling time, keep an eye on the time. It's the best way to practice, okay? Just keep doing your best and have a great rest of your remote learning day. Bye, everyone. Take care.